Good morning. Today we are going to discuss the architecture of DBMS. Architecture of DBMS means what is the structure, how many different levels of abstraction are there for DBMS. Mainly there are three levels of abstraction that is physical, logical and view levels. Physical level, logical level and view level. Physical level describes how the data is stored in the secondary storage device. As you know, DB, uh, database is actually physically stored in a secondary storage device like hard disk, magnetic disk, then uh, you, you can have uh, server firms, etc. etc. So you are going to store that in a secondary storage device. Okay. So physically how the data is stored there, that is not the headache of the programmer. That means he is not uh, he need not know he, need, he needs not know how the data is stored in the secondary storage device. That is, in the physical level, you are going to decide what is the structure or what, what, what are the utilities you have to use when you are uh, physically storing uh, this. So that is physical level. In the physical level, um, you can have various representations like hashing techniques, then uh, B3, B plus 3, indexing techniques are also there. So uh, the programmer who is writing a program for uh, storing a report in the secondary storage device, it is not the headache or he is not aware of what is happening behind and it is the duty of the uh, physical layer or the physical level to store that record in an appropriate way. Okay. Now, second is the logical level. In the logical level, a programmer who is programming that, for example, suppose that if you want to have, say, uh, an inspector record, that means the inspector is having a type of record is like this. He is an ID, inspector has got an ID, and this ID is a string, and his name is also a string. Then this is the department name in which uh, to which he belongs and this is the salary salary of the instructor so that's a record so logically you have created a record and it is the responsibility of the physical level to store that in the secondary story in an appropriate way it is not the duty of the programmer who is writing this program that means this is the a logical entity and uh, it is not the duty of the programmer or who is the, or, or, or the database manager how this is stored in the secondary storage device. So logically, this is the structure of an inspector record, and that inspector record is having an ID and it's a string value name. It's also a string value. This is the department name. It is again another string and salary is an integer value. So this is the logical entity. This is the logical entity. And physically how this is stored, uh, that is done by the physical level. Okay. Now, next is view level. For example, uh, there may be a number of reports. Instructor records are there. Then student records are there. Department records are there. And all these are interconnected and all that. So in the view level, for example, suppose that this is the instructor record, and suppose that in the view level, some application programmer is interested in the ID and name of the employee or ID number and instructor name only he wants. He doesn't want the department name and salary of the instructor. So you can create a view like you are going to access only this ID and name of the inspector. Suppose that for security reasons, um, this salary is has to be hidden, has to be hidden from uh, the view level. So you can also do that. That means in the physical, in the logical level, uh, the salary of each employee is stored and. Nobody is allowed to access that except some uh, some persons who, who has higher uh, administrative responsibilities. They can access the 
this sovereignty things. So, not everybody can use that. That means, in the view level, actually, physically you are having a number of entities in the background and you may be interested in some, for example, suppose that you want to have, say, uh, instructors who are uh, working in a specific department, say computer science, who are the instructors who are uh, working under computer science department, then it, you are creating a view and then depending on uh, the view you have created, you are going to access the details and it will come up with a view. That means you are an end user, end user who is using your uh, their DVMS, he is only interested in uh, in a view. That means how this is logically stored and how that is physically stored, and that is not the response. Or that is or that is not the response. Or he is not interested. The end user he is viewing that and view level is for the end user, and the end user is only interested in uh, in a view which he or he wants to have and uh, he is not interested in how the data is logically stored and how the, how the data is physically stored and that's all about uh, the three levels of abstraction that means physical level uh, describe how the data is physically stored in the database and the logical level is a duty of the programmer to have or the data is administered to have different different uh, uh, reports, different different reports and he has to define all these things and that is at the logical level and this logical level entities are physically stored in the database and the view level uh, an end user may not be interested in uh, in this for example uh, this is the inspector database and he may not be interested in all the details of that inspector and he wants to know only the ID and name of a particular instructor or the inspectors. Okay, then he will create a view and he wants to know only that much details. So, it is the responsibility of the programmer to write code for that. Architecture of a database management system and this has three levels this physical level physical level is the secondary storage device here secondary storage device is the physical level logical level means you are going to have a number of reports like suppose that you have a student report or you have an employee report or we can we can have that means that structures and you are going to have tables of structures something like that and once you have created this physically that is sold in the secondary storage device and view 1, view 2, etc. to view and means here these are suppose that some customer and he wants to know some details of some details he wants to access some details from the physical data physical database physically that is stored as like this for example uh, suppose that in a shop in a shop some customer wants some uh, some products and he need, need he need, uh, there is no need to know where that product is stored in the in the repository or in the shop where that data or where that product is stored that is not uh, the customer need not know uh, where that is physically stored and it is the responsibility of the sales person to take that from where it is stored and he has to bring and that has to be going to the customer okay and customer means this at the view level customer is at the view level or if you are using a management information system or dbms the end user for example suppose that you are browsing uh, in your ktu portal you are a user and you want to know when you are entering your website you want to know some details of you and uh, about uh, KQ etc etc whatever you want it is actually a view that means that means the data is physically stored in some other formats and some other tables etc etc and as a user you want to know something 
and that is called view level. Physically, that is stored in a different format, and this physical level uh, storage is uh, the logically logically how this has to be done. That is decided by the programmer. Physical level data storage is not the responsibility of the programmer, logical level programmer, but it is the responsibility of the programmer to design the database. What are the uh, what are the structures? What are the reports you have to keep? That is decided logically and physically that, that is stored in a in different formats. Okay, and the view level, a customer who is customer or uh, a person who is browsing your site or using your portal or using your DBMS and he wants to know something from your database. So he is presented a view. Okay. The, this is the uh, the view level is near to the customer and physical level is actual storage of data. Okay.